Hi, this is Kenny Barlow, Sales Manager for North American Arms, and in this video we're going to talk about the belt buckle custom carry options for the 22 mini revolvers. The belt buckles for the 22 mini revolvers come in two different styles. The first is an aluminum shaped buckle for the long rifle only, and the second is a skeleton style for both the long rifle and the magnum frames. The oval aluminum belt buckle, which is available for the long rifle only, utilizes a lever and a high powered magnet to hold the firearm in place. To properly seat the firearm into the belt buckle, you need to first make sure that the hammer is sitting all the way down inside of the safety notch. The firearm will not fit inside the belt buckle in the half cock position. To properly seat the firearm into the belt buckle, guide the muzzle into the post located on the right side of the buckle. The magnet will then cause the firearm to adhere to the belt buckle. Finally, secure the firearm into the belt buckle by rotating the lever counterclockwise. To release the firearm, rotate the lever clockwise, then approaching the firearm from behind the belt buckle, apply forward pressure to break the magnet's grasp of the firearm. This will cause the firearm to freely dislodge from the buckle. To seat a mini revolver in the skeleton style, position the firearm with the two pegs directly behind the trigger guard and the hammer with the firearm pointed slightly down. Then rotate the firearm upward so that the cylinder pin is correctly indexed with the cylinder pin retention tab on the buckle. Pull down on the cylinder pin retention tab and press the firearm directly into the buckle, causing the firearm to snap into its correctly seated position, firmly retained by the buckle. To release the firearm, simply reverse the process. The process is identical when using the Magnum Mini Revolver.